Hey there, welcome to Gemini Toys. Here we are once again. This time we're back at Toy Sapiens and they are event free currently here in Nagoya. So um, they have a mix of DC as you can see here on the right side of the shop, a display of the Justice League. They also have Star Wars and of course Marvel. So you can see the flash here. I've been thinking about getting this figure recently actually. And uh, Wonder Woman, I still love this head sculpt. I have the comic concept version and I'm pretty content with that. And speaking of contempt, I'm very with this uh, Superman, Man of Steel, Henry Cavill figure. I see the shield there uh, on his chest is a little damaged. Got to be careful with that. And uh, speaking of other figures uh, that I really like and have is uh, this bat flick. His cape is a little needs to be tucked in there, but love that pose. And uh, like I was saying, on the other side of the store, in the entrance, we have the assemble of Thor, Hawkeye, you know, Black Widow, and Captain America. No room for Hulk, of course, as he is a big figure. But speaking of Marvel, there is a Marvel all-stars event coming up at the end of november so i'm really looking forward to that i'm sure they'll have some prototypes so um it's going to be very exciting to go there and uh shoot it because the dc all-stars event was uh quite good so uh, that captain america figure i still really like it and this is another figure i'd like to get this is this is a collection of figures i'd like to get so don't forget to subscribe and um, here's the inside of the shop. I have shown this collection of figures they have. It's quite the amazing display. Uh, check it out on my channel if you haven't. They have some, uh, looks like purses for articles for women. They have uh, quite the selection of uh, various products. Funko Pops, here we can see uh, you can build your armory of spider-mans and iron mans and now i think batmans too they had the nano gonglet been tempted to get that one for scale nano gonglet but haven't yet and uh some more uh big head characters and they usually always have pinball machines this time they have the star wars pinball machine and a variety of uh clothing it's a harley queen t-shirt but they're usually around 50 bucks I'm thinking to pick up at least one t-shirt from them. And here we have some Star Wars. Baby Yoda always uh, gets my attention and most people's, I think. Very loved character. Of course, The Mandalorian is just such an amazing series. And uh, this would be upstairs. Going up, you have a couple monitors there showing Comic-Con. These keychains, I picked up that uh, Batman uh, BVS keychain. Got some Peanuts Snoopy stuff as well. Some uh, more, looks like uh, Funko Pops. This is the DC section. So uh, we have some uh, Batmobiles and other vehicles. And like I was saying before, the armory you can build of uh, Batman figures looks like that's kind of a hit and some box lights hats and purses and here we have Playmobil Wow, such good memories see some Ghostbusters stuff there I know they do all kinds of stuff I don't follow it but uh, interesting they have that at the shop as well and this Back to the Future, anything Back to the Future gets my attention. So the Back to the Future car is actually quite amazing. For, you know, to me this is, you know, stuff I played when I was, well, some of the first figures I probably ever played with. So it, it's interesting to see that they sell it at the shop. And here they have some stuff maybe for Halloween so let's move on to the hot toys as you can see here they have plenty in display so i'm going to show you all of them and lots of figures available 
for sale. So here we have uh, the comic concept version of the Civil War Iron Man. I have been thinking about getting this figure several times, but I have the Infinity War Iron Man and Endgame Mark 85 coming soon, and that's quite similar enough for me. I don't want to collect too many Iron Man figures, but I know a lot of the Iron Man collectors go crazy with these uh, variations, such as the one you're seeing right now on screen, the Neon Tech. Here we have Endgame War Machine. Very nice uh, looking figure. As you can see, the likeness to Don Cheeto is really good. Very, very good. A lot of weathering there. Very nice looking figure. And uh, here we have Rocket. Very tiny figure. I think he's a little overpriced for the size. Because size got to count for something, right? So, hmm, it's not one I'll be picking up. But it does look pretty good. And here we have Black Widow, and I picked this figure up actually. Uh, I saw her at uh, Comic-Con and at uh, some events, the prototype, and after thinking about getting her for a while, she was released in summer. Seeing uh, some reviews out there, I had to get her. So I added her to my collection, and check out the review coming up very soon actually. And of course, Hawkeye is next to her. I didn't pick up this guy yet. The Ronin version is something very tempting to me. So um, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Here we have Stan Lee. Gotta make his cameo as always. He's, he's been in more of my videos than any other character, I think. You know, makes sense, right? Still available in stock. I'm showing you the bottoms. The ones that have the... You can see, you know, the boxes are actual figures that are in stock. This guy is not. And uh, it's once again another look at the Justice League Batman. This is the one that comes with the diorama base. Very nice. I don't have that version, but you know, I'm content with the regular one. And another look again at uh, Superman from Justice League. Gosh, she's such a beautiful figure. The pose is a little strange, the, the way they have the shoulder there, but gosh, that head sculpt is really, really good. I like the paint application. It's just so great. It's the same head sculpt, but the paint makes quite the difference, actually. If you haven't picked up that figure and you were looking for a Superman figure, you gotta pick this that one up. I mean, that's the that's the ultimate uh, Superman, I think. And once again, we have Wonder Woman. And uh, very nice figure. I do like that. What is that cloak that she's wearing? I like that look actually. None of these are actually in stock. But Aquaman, when I walked into the store, they actually had him in stock, so somebody must have bought him. Is he a hot item? Hmm. As far as I know, he's not. This figure was quite criticized uh, for the head sculpt, I think. Uh, to me, it looks pretty good. And of course, you know. Mandalorian is in stock to my surprise actually. I would think this figure sold out by now, but there he is. And so happy to see him displayed this figure. Either though I have him seeing him out there in the wild just is joy to my eyes. Just love this figure. Another figure I can't recommend enough. And check out the review uh, and comparison video if you haven't. Uh, I have those previous to this one and here we have the incinerator trooper 
very nice figure too but I'm content with uh, the regular Stormtrooper for now but it's a nice variation it's definitely unique and the uh, I like the red kind of nose with all the scratches and the flame effect looks really nice too and uh, here we have the Remnant Stormtrooper. This is one of the Stormtroopers I was very much considering picking up. But to me, just, I don't know, there's something that looks a little goofy about the size of the head. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But I think it's quite accurate because uh, I had the same feeling when I first saw Mandalorian, those Stormtroopers. They just look so skinny and with a big head and I think you know they nailed it Hot Toys nailed it I just not a fan of that look I like the more standard Stormtrooper which is what we have here and I picked this up as well and I did make a, a review on it so uh, please check it out if you haven't if you're considering this uh, Stormtrooper I think this is the way to go in terms of really safe this is a real safe way to go in terms of your standard uh, stormtrooper very very light weathering beautiful green visor I love it I'm really liking it and if I pick up an additional one I'm thinking about that remnant trooper but we'll see and here we have Leia Endor Leia very very nice I think it's the first time I see this figure in person really beautiful uh, head sculpt I think uh, Hot Toys once again nailed it in terms of the likeness very very nice and here we have another Leia figure from Empire Strikes Back I think this might be the same head sculpt but I'm not sure let me know in the comments section if you know that this is the same head sculpt just a different hairstyle different hair sculpt I should say uh, that's uh, Bespin Leia just as beautiful once again nailed the head nailed that head sculpt Hot Toys just doesn't cease to uh, surprise this was kind of a surprise to me when they announced this. We have the Jawa. Yeah. Without the eyes on, it just doesn't sell the illusion. But I'm sure with those eyes on, it looks really great. And I think this is called the. Uh, what is the. I know this is a battery walking droid. I forgot the name. Oh, EG-6. Yeah. It's like a walking battery. Those things are funny the way they walk. And uh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. This is from the movie Solo, if I'm not mistaken. Another variation. I think it's a guard trooper. Hmm. It's an interesting variation. I know there's a lot of Stormtrooper collectors out there, so. And this is a figure I thought about getting for a, uh, a long time, ever since the prototype was announced and I saw it at Comic-Con. But I'm content with my Return of the Jedi look. And now actually seeing it in person, I'm, I'm really not that excited about this figure. And I guess it's the source material that just uh, I'm not going to get into it. Uh, and speaking of uh, source material, here we have the Sith Trooper. It's actually a very cool looking figure. Very cool looking figure. Very cool looking Storm Trooper. I love the concept of having a red Storm Trooper. It's just, you know, they didn't do anything in the movie. You know, the movie wasn't such a hot movie to begin with and on top of that this trooper was barely seen and didn't get any action so to me the source material is so important 
And uh, another nice figure is just, once again, <laughs> I know I keep repeating myself with that, but <laughs> source material this didn't do much for me. This, this figure to me would look great with a Harrison Ford head sculpt. That would be a nice experiment I'd like to try. I do like that uh, furry outfit. Matches well with uh, Chewbacca. Yeah. It's a nice looking figure though. And uh, a couple days after, or a few days later, I went once again, and they had this Count Dooku figure. This I shot with my uh, iPhone, so there might be a little difference in quality. But he's in stock because, uh, you know, he went up in price recently, very desired figure. And this one also uh, went up for sale. So must be selling because they are reissuing these figures without making official announcements they must be selling well this this is a very nice looking Yoda actually very tempted by uh, this Yoda yeah very nice and you know it's a little it's a little cheaper and this must be another hot seller as he became available and they have them in stock. This is my Luke. Return of the Jedi is definitely my Luke. So this one or the regular version. I have the regular, so I'm content with that. And R2D2. I had recently somebody asked me on Facebook uh, how much R2D2 is going for. So I have the Force Awakens R2 that doesn't have all the gadgets. But looks just as good, minus the gadgets and uh, uh, projection there of uh, Leia. And that's, the price is a little steep. And to finalize, here we have Winnie the Pooh, a very expensive teddy bear. It's cute, but I didn't get into Hot Toys to collect uh, teddy bears. So. There's your tour. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. As always, make sure you've subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. Is that a Marvel All-Stars event. I'll cover that and that seems pretty exciting. And uh, as I say always, enjoy the path of collecting and I'll catch you guys next time.